people of the world as civil society have power that they themselves do not realize. People power can change things. The New York Times once described the international civil society as the other superpower. We are so powerful. But we have to collectively use that power in order to make our wishes known to the governments under which we live. One argument used against Obama is that there are countries like Japan <coughs> who enjoy extended deterrence, who are under the nuclear umbrella of the United States. And if the United States abolishes nuclear weapons, Japan will object. This is not true, because you do not want to have the nuclear umbrella. It is also not true that the five European countries who continue to have tactical nuclear weapons from the United States want those weapons. In fact, the German government has told the United States, please take these weapons away. But the United States is not following the wishes of the German government and the German people. So we have to stand up, apply pressures on our own government, and tell them to ensure that one of the leading nuclear weapon states, the United States, should take away their nuclear weapons and take away their nuclear umbrellas because there are other ways of living under security. Human security is more important than military security. When I worked for five years in the United Nations with Secretary General Kofi Annan, we believed that security is not only military security, but it is also development and human rights. We also believed that national security is the security of the nation state, of governments, the protection of the territorial integrity of countries. But human security is about the security of the individual and his or her human rights, which is best protected by a durable peace without weapons and without war. Last year, the world spent 1,531 billion US dollars on arms. But we have over 1 billion people, one in six, living below the poverty line who go to bed every night hungry and a child dies every six seconds of malnutrition. This is not the world that you and I want, my friends. We have to change that. And we can change it because, as I said before, civil society has power to change what is happening in the world today. Two final points before I give the young people here an opportunity of asking me questions that are on their minds. The first is that UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon, who was the first Secretary General of the UN to visit Hiroshima, and we must admire his courage, especially as a Korean in coming here. He has come out with a five-point plan for the elimination of nuclear weapons. And he talks about a nuclear weapons convention or an arrangement, a framework of agreements which will achieve the total elimination of nuclear weapons. We must all support him in that. The second point is that in May of this year, the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty parties, 190 of them, adopted a final declaration by consensus in which there was a 64-point action plan where nuclear disarmament, nuclear non-proliferation, and the peaceful uses of nuclear energy the three pillars of the NPT were strongly supported. And it was agreed that the nuclear weapon states will undertake the elimination of their nuclear weapons. And that international humanitarian law prohibits the use or the threat of use of nuclear weapons, which was what the advisory opinion of the International Court of Justice said in 1996. Finally, we must all work together to achieve a common goal of the abolition of nuclear weapons, which is both 
practically necessary, morally necessary, legally necessary. If we do not achieve the abolition of nuclear weapons, nuclear weapons will abolish humankind. Thank you. Thank you so much for your inspiring picture today. えっと、私からは質問が1つあるんですが、えっと、私はあの被爆3世です。広島で生まれ育った私があのどうすることで、あの平和について活動することができるかを模索し、できることからと8月3日には、えっと、友人と原爆ドームへ集い平和について語るよう